Hey guys, welcome back to another video at InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be installing Bloodhound, and I'll talk a little bit about what Bloodhound is and all that stuff in a second. But if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for checking it out. And don't ever forget to subscribe, hit that little bell so you get some alerts for when new videos come out, and share and like and all that good stuff. So in this video, like I said, I'm going to be installing Bloodhound. The reason why I am installing Bloodhound is because I was doing a box on Hack the Box called Forest. So, you know, the user flag is, is pretty easy to get, but once you get into a little advanced and trying to privesque and escalate your permissions, you know, I came to a dead end that I needed to get Bloodhound. So instead of installing it, you know, as I needed it, I said, you know what, let me stop and I can start that box over and let me make a video on how to install Bloodhound and all that stuff. So here we are today installing Bloodhound, okay? So you can install Bloodhound for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And you can, you know, go to, you know, GitHub, Bloodhound, AD Bloodhound to get some more information about it, who created it, you know, who is maintaining it, the whole Bloodhound Enterprise team, and so on and so forth. But this video is strictly to get it up and running, and I'm not going to be ingesting any data. You're going to probably see that when I do the forest box. So first things first, what we're going to be doing is I just have a set of, of commands copied. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy this, and so I don't have to sit here. And of course, it didn't, it didn't paste it. Let me see if I do this. Of course not. All right, no sweat. So we're going to do a, a little pseudo apt update really quick and then we do i haven't this is a different give me one sec i i think you guys know i can't really all right i can't really type and talk at the same time so we're going to let this do its thing normally you're going to have to do this before you install bloodhound and just to make sure all your updates and all your repositories and all your, you know, your, your system is up to date. So if we do do cat Etsy uh, OS release, I believe I'm on 2022.1. Okay, yeah, so once this is fully updated, fully upgraded, all that good stuff, we should be on the latest and greatest. And once we are on the latest and greatest, we can go ahead and install Bloodhound, okay? Hopefully this doesn't take too long. And once this is finished, we'll, we'll resume once this is done and then we'll continue. I don't wanna bore you guys while this is installing. So if you guys are following along, make sure you do this as step number one. And then once, we, once this is done, we'll resume and start installing Bloodhound and continuing, all right? So give me several moments, let this thing do its thing and we'll be back shortly. All right, guys. So that was about 40 minutes for me to get that upgraded. So now if I hit this, now we can see that we're on 2022.3. I believe we stopped the recording at 1120. So that was about 40 minutes to get this whole shebang up and upgraded. So now we can clear that out. So now the next thing we're gonna do is install Bloodhound, right? So we can do sudo apt install install bloodhound whoops bloodhound okay and then we're going to do a dash y for yes whoops and then put my fancy password and it should be good to go so now let's clear that and what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and start the console so we're going to do <clears throat> Sorry, uh, sudo neo4j console. And we'll let that start its, uh, its little guy. While that's starting, we can actually go to clear here. <clears throat> Whoops, excuse me. 
So now that it's started, now we can go ahead and if we see somewhere here, we can go ahead and browse. So let's copy this. Copy address. We can go out to Firefox, paste that. And now we should browse out to the, let's make this a little larger, to the database. Okay, so let's change this to a bolt. And then the username and password is the same. It's going to be NEO Neo4j. And then it's going to be Neo4j. And we should have to change the password once this connects. Okay, so I'm going to change mine to password 2022. Whoops, let me do bang. So it's going to be password 2022 bang. Okay, just to take a sneak peek. So it's password, and then we're going to go ahead and change it. This is just for a testing environment. Obviously, you're not going to show your, your real one out there, right, guys? All right, so that should be good. We can X this out or we can just leave it hanging out, but we are connected. So next thing, let's go ahead and come back over to our command shell. We can just leave that started. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and run the Bloodhound. Run Bloodhound. So let's do sudo Bloodhound. Blood. And then apply that, and then we should get a little fancy, fancy uh, GUI. So we're gonna go ahead and log in with Neo 4J, right? So once we log into Neo 4J, and let me put my password. I'm gonna go ahead and save the password, and go ahead and log in. And now we are logged in. Obviously there's no data returned from query, so there's nothing up and running yet. But we can search around. Obviously there's nothing connected, so there's no data that's ingested. And one thing I like to do, obviously I have Bloodhound on a laptop that I use for my assessments. This is like my, my, my video laptop. So, you know, you can come around here, you can refresh, you can, you know, import graphs upload data, blah, blah, blah. One thing I like to do is go to settings and I like to use dark mode. This is something I just like it. It's easier on my eyes and that's pretty much it. So once we have the, the data, you can just ingest it and then you'll see a fancy graph. Once I do forest, you'll be, you'll be exposed to that data. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and pin this down here. And that's pretty much it for this video. So you can see, you know, anything we can just go to about, we can see the about is version 4.2.0. So we are good. We have this installed, configured, set up, and that's about it. So hopefully this has been informative for you folks. And if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I'm more than happy to try to help you out as best as I can. Or if you just throw, you know, the error on Instagram, on my, on my Discord channel, I'm sure folks will be able to help you as well. So remember, doing that upgrade and all that good stuff, that took me about 40 minutes. So be patient. I, I was getting really tired. I almost was going to say, you know what, let's just do this tomorrow. But, you know, once you start something, you want to finish it. So now I have this machine all set up for the farce. Uh, box. So I'll be doing that shortly. And uh, yeah, until next time, have a good one. Thanks, folks.